988 season, you've referenced it, how special that was. You guys go through the playoffs, get to the Super Bowl against the 49ers. Memories of that game. Oh, wow. Let me tell you, man, that was uh, the Super Bowl. Super Bowl game was um, something that, you know, I'll never forget because, you know, we had went through so much uh, the year before in the strike year and then to start the year out and just, you know, so many, so many good things that we wanted to happen. And Super Bowl 23, you know, my third year in the league, 24 years old, I'm playing in the Super Bowl. And it was, you know, it was before the game started, it was, oh, my gosh, Super Bowl. But then once we warmed up and we were, you know, making contact with each other, it was just another game. As soon as the game started and I, you know, I, I made contact with the 49er, it was just another game. And, okay, we, we didn't won 14 games this year. Let's win another one and finish this thing off. And we were pretty close to winning. Um, you know, if we win an offense that was averaging almost 25 points a game, they didn't score a touchdown. They scored one touchdown in that game. We might have won that game. So we, we defensively, we were one of those teams that gave up a lot of points. I mean, gave up a lot of yards, but not a lot of points. And we got in the Super Bowl, and we're playing the 49ers. And let me tell you, I, you know, we say 49ers, it's always Joe Montana, Jerry Rice. I'm on the football field playing against these guys. I get a chance to hit these guys. Fortunate I did. I sacked Montana in the Super Bowl and hit Jerry Rice a couple of times. And, uh, you know, those are things that, you know, you dream about, and here they are. And so it was an exciting time for Cincinnati, and hopefully Cincinnati can get back there again. How difficult was that offense to play against? You know, the Bull had a game plan. We had a game plan for them, and and we we managed the game plan pretty well. Um, one of the, the 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 things we wanted to do was, is, you know, we we couldn't, you know, stop Joe Montana. We just wanted to kind of contain him or whatnot, and couldn't stop Jerry Rice. We just wanted to limit him, limited him a lot of catches. We couldn't, you know. The goal was, is you know, keep them out of the end zone. Keep them out of the end zone. You got a chance, especially with the offense that we had. And but their their offense was so special, man. And we we had, I mean, three three and a half quarters. We were we had them, and we were right there. We were playing, you know, we were going blow for blow. And um, it just the last two minutes of the game, you know, you, you get the best quarterback in the league probably ever played this game. Give him the football and. He knew what to do with it, and we tried to keep the ball in front of us, and we did for a little bit, and there were a few plays here and there, and they gave him a chance to win the game at the end. You guys had it won, and then they probably went into a hurry-up offense, and Montana's probably calling his own plays, and it was totally different, and LeBeau had a plan for what Bill Walsh does now with Montana. And, you know, look, when you when you get in that two-minute drill, it's different. And it is. It was really different, and I think, you know, if you ever if you ever saw that game or look at that game again, and you look at three and a half quarters of how we attacked their offense, you know, every time Joe threw the football, somebody was in his face. It was in his face. We made we made Joe show us how good he really was, and then that last two minutes of the game, we didn't pressure Joe. We sat back and prevented ourselves from making mistakes, but allowing him to do what he wanted to do. And I think that's what cost us because we didn't blitz in the last drive. We zoned it a lot. A lot. We had a lot of man free, um, and we wanted to keep the ball in front of us and funnel everything inside so they didn't go out. And one big play that hurt us when it was a third down and 20 and – we had the perfect defense called, but a couple of players were lined up in the wrong spot, and Jerry Rice caught a ball uh, about 12 yards across the middle, and he wound up getting 22 yards for the first down. And that one, that was the dagger that, that, that broke our hearts. 